You really have to embrace your future to get there. Everybody wants to be a major league player. I've never met a player in my life that said, I don't really want to get to the major league. I don't really care. It's not that big a deal. Cámelo, cámelo, tírala. Está muy suave. A couple of years ago, the Kansas City Royals won the World Series, you remember? Okay? And they asked Ned Ned Yost, his dad was a famous ball player back in the 40s and 50s. How did you guys come together so quick? How did you guys build such a great team? He said it was really simple. We never signed a draft pick. We never traded for a player. We never promoted a player. We never brought a player into the fold that we couldn't get 20 GMs and scouts to give a 100% endorsement to. If that kid smoked and one of our guys doesn't like smokers, then he don't come in. We don't say, no, don't worry about it. He hit 35 home runs and he smokes. No, no, no. All 25 people had to agree on his personal habits, his life habits, his social habits, his family habits, his work habits. Every single guy had to be 100% convinced that everything in this guy's life, he had to tie his shoelaces correct. All 20 guys had to agree that he ties his shoelaces correct. All 20 guys. Instead, if we had one man in our organization that said he wasn't sure, we took his name off the list. In two years, we built an organization. Eric Cosmer, uh, the Greek guy at third base, okay? He says, that's how we built this team fast. Every one of our people had to be 100% convinced about 100% of everything in that boy's life, or he wasn't coming on the team. We wanted 100% coachable team, not 99.9. .9. See, usually we go 90%, 98%, and we overlook the fact that he doesn't smile. No, we're not overlooking anything. If he doesn't smile at everybody in the organization, if he doesn't say hello to everybody in the organization, if he doesn't say good morning to the cook, he's not playing for the Kansas City Royals. If he doesn't kiss his girlfriend goodbye in the parking lot, He's not playing for the Kansas City Royals. If he doesn't give his mother a hug when she walks through the door and introduce her to everybody in the room, he's not playing for the Kansas City Royals. That's how they did it. When I heard his answer, I was astounded but not surprised and terribly energized at their commitment to this philosophy. You guys should be saying thank you to the cook when they bring it to the table. You should be saying thank you when they pick up the dishes. You should be saying thank you when they wash the floor. You should be saying thank you for every single meal. You should be looking up at the construction guys going, wow guys, looks good. Jeremy, good job. Thank you for being here today, Jeremy. Thank you for being here. If you want success in your life, that's what you do. Learn how to reach out and touch people in a positive way. When a coach comes in to coach you, learn how to touch that coach in a positive way. If you have a question, get your question answered. If your philosophy is diametrically opposed to the coach, say, Coach, you know, I've always been doing it a different way, and I always thought it was better if my hands were here. So you're telling me you want my hands here? Is that what you want me to do? Because I've always tried to do it this way. But I was taught to do it this way. Do you want me to do it this way? Okay, that's what you want. Let me try to do that, coach. Make that coach feel like he's coaching. Be coachable. Okay? Can we do that? Yeah. Coach these people.
Thank everybody around you. Be humble, be tough, be focused. But don't be so self-centered and so into yourself that you can't reach out and touch people in a positive way. All right? Thank you. Get some food. Go have fun. He was making a very generous donation because he knew how important the weight room was. However, he talked to the strength and conditioning coach, and the strength and conditioning coach wanted to do exercises and lifting weights that are not good for young boys, and number two, they're not good for baseball players. So there was two problems there. Young boys shouldn't be lifting weights because their joints and muscles and bones and ligaments haven't grown and matured yet, so you could damage it. Um, create long-term damage. You can have short-term injuries and you can also have long-term damage. Long-term damage means that you'll never reach your genetic potential. You may not have gotten hurt, but for some reason later on, you just can't throw the ball more than 82 miles an hour. Well, it's because you stretch the ligaments and the, and the bone sockets differently. And you don't even know it. So there's two motions. There's only two mechanical motions involved in the whole pitching motion. There's linear movements and rotational movements. Okay? Yeah. And having them in sequence, in balance, and sequence, sequential movement is really key.
M-Y-E-L-I-S, and it forms a sheathing, a protective insulative sheathing around the electrical system that fires muscles and controls movements. And the more times that you do something, the more the myelin gets created for that activity. Yeah. The brain goes on automatic, the muscles go on automatic. Yeah. So it's a process of called myelinization. Boys, say hello to Ian. Ian, go say hello to the boys. This is Kevin. What's up? Jake, how are you? How are you doing? Go ahead and do what you did and then just go ahead and freeze. So he took that front shoulder from 12 to 3. I need that front, this shoulder here. It's 6. With the head at 12. See what's happening there? That's called shoulder exchange. Let me have the stick. Hold on one second. Slow down. You have to have a routine. You gotta stay with the routine. The routine is not stick the bat way up in the air. That's not the routine. This elbow, we don't need that elbow. The routine is get set. Get your legs set. One. Now swing. Stay with your routine. You need your routine. It's your free swing routine. You have to develop your free swing routine. What you do here is what you'll probably do in a game. And I don't want you to step into the box and stick your hands where you have So like for instance, right now you're loading really good yeah. and then you're driving. Yeah. Because that compression is so important, and because this is a very important link in the chain, um, Let's make sure we've got it covered 100%. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? So I would suggest that maybe you experiment, fly around, see how yeah. it feels. See what happens when you bring it up, and if you could just hip check it. Just, yeah. just uh, a little bit of a cock. Yeah. Patterning motion is not what we want to do. We want to get you patterned for that. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. So as you do this patterning drill now, weight staying back, close on the front, ball up, ready to throw. Mm -hmm. Now if you take a look at your elbow angles, if we take a look at that angle to that angle, we're good. We're good. That angle and that angle are the same angles. Of course they're on different planes, Yeah. but they have to be on different planes because yeah. they're doing two different things, but the angles are, the, are, are much better. We're a lot of force right through this part of your body okay so that's happening really nice now we're going to look at front side back side lost a little bit of backside connection see it front side connection is better it unleashes and we lost front side connection see it we lost front side connection you're probably thinking of backside connection and re-establishing so that here you are on the backside trying to re-establish connection to get that elbow up perfect it's perfect. Much better, much better, much better. Like you say, it's hard to think about all yeah, seven things. We know that you can do this better. I wasn't thinking about right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so the old habit broke in of breaking connection here because you were fighting for connection here. And you reestablished connection. A little better on the shoe. Catch the ball with the left foot and the hands at the same time. Catch, step, step. Catch, step, step. Catch, step, step. Okay, do it again. Catch, step, step. Fast feet now, fast feet.
Oh no, uh, two is here and then. Oh no, no. One, two, three is here. Ah, oh, see? So it's, it's one, two, three. Bam! All right. Runner's at second base. He's taking a lead. He's out here, right? On the shortstop. I get a line drive in the hole. Fly or roll. Fly. Run. Line drive. Linha. Throw me the ball. Throw me the ball. I catch the ball. I turn. I run backwards. And I throw the ball. 